Hey guys, my name is Ray, and today's the day that it might seem like I'm going on a rant, but I'm not going on a rant. Now, before I start talking, let me first remind you guys that we do have the giveaway right here on my channel, Raise the Alba, and we're giving away this awesome set of books, all five books that have been released from the A Song of Ice and Fire series. And all you have to do is just sub subscribe to my channel and wait for the season six premiere Game of Thrones so that I'll choose a winner and somebody luckily will win this set of books. All right. Oh yeah, and before we also start, I would like to tell you guys that we did already release the first episode of The Brotherhood Without Manners. It's on Sir Hunt's Reviews uh, YouTube channel. So for the first one there, and I'm actually in front of camera, which is really weird. I, I, I never done in front of camera, but if any of you guys are curious to see me, that might be the first time you could see me there. And plus, I'm also doing the next video for The Brotherhood Without Manners. We're doing it on this YouTube channel, so stick tuned to that. I'll set a reminder. I believe it'll be Saturday, like around 4 o'clock, all right? So let's get started. Now, today we're going to talk about these two right here, this guy who spoke out of term, and we're also going to talk about the other two people besides George R. R. Martin who know most about Game of Thrones and the Song of Ice and Fire in the world. Now, this is Jeremy Paduesa, and he in December did an interview in which he said that the producers of Game of Thrones were a bit influenced by the, you know, the criticism over the Sansa consummation slash rape scene of, uh, you know, Sansa Stark. And this is what he had to say. They were responsive to the discussion and there were a couple of things that changed as a result. He went on to say that they did not want to be too over influenced by that, but they did absorb it and take it in and it influenced them in a way. Now, all this came about after the, like I said, the scene with Sansa and Ramsey, in which Theon even had to watch. Now, I understand that this scene was very uncomfortable and it was, you know, it made people feel a certain way. But I'm going to keep it 100% authentic with my opinion on this subject of should the, you know, the, the, the criticism influence the story. Now, we have heard George R. R. Martin in the past say, but he has seen some blogs and, you know, he, he tries to not see them because he doesn't want it to influence his work. Now, the way that season five was written out, to many people, it might seem as Sansa was written out as a weak character. But uh, two days ago, I believe, or a day ago, I saw this other YouTuber. His name is Enchantment of Eternity, and he has a lot of great videos. You guys should go, should go check out this one video he has in which he reviews Sansa Stark's season five, you know, uh, like the whole season, how she's developed. And it's very interesting because a lot of people overlook the strong things that she has done. For example, here, when she stands up to Miranda, when Miranda's trying to scare her about all the crazy things that Ramsey has done to the other girls that he grows tired of. And how long have you loved him, Miranda? Did you imagine that he would be with you forever? Is that it? And I came along and ruined it. I'm Sansa Stark of Winterfell. This is my home and you can't frighten me. Are you done with your bath, my lady? Girl, I can finish on my own. Congratulations, you played yourself. And then we have this scene, and just look at Ramsay's reaction when she says this. You'll be my lady, Wardeness. But isn't your stepmother pregnant? What of it? What happens if she has a boy? Then I'll have a baby brother. But he'll be the heir. I'm Lord Bolton's eldest son. But you're a bastard. Oh! I've been naturalized by a royal decree from Tom and Baratheon, another bastard. Oh! 
Bastards can rise high in the world. Like your half-brother, Jon Snow. Born the bastard of Winterfell, now the Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. He didn't know. Yes, he's done very well for himself. So in that scene, we see that by Sansa provoking Ramsay, she was able to get important information out of him about where Jon is and possibly someone who could help her. And for that, Sansa, you are. So I'm going to wrap it up with the whole Sansa progression in season five. If you want to check out more, like I said, check out Enchantment of Eternity's video on Sansa Stark's progression during season five. But here we also have a quote from what uh, uh, D.Y. said, and basically he's turning down the article in which uh, was said that, you know, that they did change how they were going to approach season six due to the criticism from that uh, scene. Now, like I said earlier in the video, me for one, I like to let storytellers tell the story. And the way that it was written last season, I want to see it through how exactly and why they did that to Sansa. You know what I mean? Because it makes no sense down the line just because uh, of how some people received last season that episode. Because not everybody is on the same page about it. And I'm interested to see how you guys felt about it. But just be respectful of everybody else. You know, everybody else's opinion. But to me, it would seem a little bit odd if you were to change or try to alter the story now because of criticism because they did that for a reason last season you know it's like george rr R. martin said he said that he hasn't seen people who do know uh john's parentage who john's mother is and he says that he wouldn't change it because he put these clues and he did these things for a reason and then for you to come and switch it up it would maybe take something away from the story and i do believe that they do everything for a reason and even though we do all cringe when we hear that Bron needs a bad pussy. Maybe I'll come visit you sometime. Maybe I'll come visit you. Don't wait too long. Got a noble woman to marry back home. You want a good girl, but you need a bad pussy. We all do cringe, it's true. But, you know, I do have more trust in them then I think a lot of people give them credit, you know, because believe it or not, they have given us five good seasons of a show Then I could say for a lot of shows, you know, the adaptation of any product to television or to movie. I've seen so many things butchered before and out of all of the things that I've seen, this is probably one of the top ones in adaptation. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And like I said, remember, this Saturday at 4 o'clock, we're going to have the uh, Brotherhood Without Manners video, and it's going to be on my channel. The first one was posted on Sir Hunt's Reviews channel, so you should go check that out. And like I said, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this. And remember to subscribe to my channel to enter the giveaway. We're giving away this awesome set of books. All right. My name is Ray, guys. Have a great day. Peace.